Hey, this is Ben here, and I teach you how to write Unity shaders from scratch. In today's video, what we're going over is this hollow foil effect. It's based on view direction, and what it does, it kind of uses this uh, texture, this foil texture, uh, as a distortion combined with the um, view direction to create this uh, uh, almost like flaky type of effect that only applies to the cat. So you can change a different type of flakes. You can also use this type of uh, more of a smoother type of uh, normal mapping so that you can see this effect happening. Uh, it's also possible to change the type of color you want in your effect. Uh, you can go to some blues or purples. Um, yeah, so that's the effect we're gonna go for. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so the setup we have for the foil shader is very simple, the hollow foil shader. What we have here is just a main text uh, that's being sampled. It's this B right here, uh, and we're just outputting the color. So in order to create the hollow foil effect, the first thing what we need is the hollow foil texture. We need a texture that allows us to distort the UVs so that when we look at it, um, it, it kind of changes the lighting and kind of reflects in different uh, angles, but we're not actually going to use a reflective type of effect. So the first thing we're going to do is create the foil, uh, the hollow foil texture. So we'll just call it hollow foil texture. Here, we'll just call it foil texture. Uh, we're going to duplicate this sampler 2D. And I'm just going to quickly make sure that we have it here. Uh, we're going to create a fixed form. We'll call it uh, the foil, I guess. Uh, hollow foil texture. And we can just kind of output the foil texture here. The foil texture I'm going to use is this flake type effect. So quickly, in order to create this effect, what we do is we actually, I just use a filter from Photoshop. Um, I believe it's Pixelate Crystallize. And you can kind of create the effect like so. Pretty simple, right? So we're here back in Unity. What, in order to create this effect, um, what we need to do is get the view direction and the foil and kind of have that as a distortion on the UV. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get a view direction and we need to pass it from the vertex to the pixel. So let's do vertex three, uh, sorry, vote three view dir is I'm going to put it in text chord one. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to use Unity's version of getting view direction. Uh, there's no point in trying to do it yourself. So for Unity, in order to get it, it's called world space view direction. And what we pass in is the vertex. So v.vertex. And that should give us our view direction here. So we're going to create a new uh, UV. We're just going to call it float to new UV. And we're going to start off with the view direction. X, Y is probably enough. And what we're going to do is we're going to add on the, um, the foil, the RG. I'm going to use this as a new UV. Let's kind of take a look at it. We can do that. RG, and uh, we're going to put it in zero in the blue channel. And it kind of already created this type of foil effect. It's, it's starting to already come together, right? You can kind of see how when we view at different angles, it's going to hot red, black, uh, green, and yellow, and so on, right? So that's already a pretty interesting effect. Let's go ahead and use that to sample uh the color so right now we're having the b so we could do this um it's not entirely correct but we can use the new uv to resample the uvs of our color and then spit out our color rgb we'll get rid of the channel there and we can kind of start to see oh it's starting to do this type of uh glistening effect. It's actually using this texture, let's just use this one, to kind of create this uh, foil effect. Now, this is pretty cool. We can use this and we can actually have another 
another texture here. This will kind of determine the color. We can have our B here, and then we can just kind of mask it out. Um, but we're not going to do that because recently we talked about plasma. And plasma is a very interesting way for us to create a hollow effect without a texture. So I'm going to change this back into, uh, I'm actually going to change it to this cat. Okay, and we're going to put the foil effect on wherever we see this cat. Okay, so uh, in order to do that, we're going to bring in plasma into our hollow foil shader. Okay, so I've copied the plasma effect from a previous shader that I've taught. Uh, if you don't know what this is, I will put a link in the description below. But a very brief um, overview of what the plasma effect is. The scale, if you guys recall, it kind of, uh, the, the lower the value, the more zoomed in it is. Uh, the higher the value, the more scaled out it is. It kind of creates a more scaled out version of the ripple effect. W1, 2, and 3, these were waves going in. One of them is horizontal, one is vertical, one is going diagonal, and R is the rings. After we add them all up together, it kind of created this um, interesting plasma effect. I can quickly make it show up uh, after I add in the scale here. So scale will be a float. We'll call it um, plasma scale. Scale, and it'll be a float. So set it to one for now. And here, what we need is a float scale. That should stop the errors, great. Uh, let's just kind of make the plasma show up, just to kind of see what it looks like. I'll put it over here, float three, uh, plasma. Go to plasma, and we'll just pass in the i.uvs, the most uh, generic UVs. I hope this kind of uh, rings a bell. It uh, kind of creates this plasma effect where scale, as you can see, it zooms it in and out, right? And so on. Uh, and to animate it, it was always through this time effect. So if I put in, let's just say time.y or x, it will animate it. Make it a little quicker. There we go. So, so that, that's what plasma was, right? So we're not actually going to animate it. We're just going to put it at zero. And what we're going to do is we're going to, instead of using i.uv, we're going to use the new uv and have it driven by view direction. So now it looks extremely bright and flickery. But if we change out this, um, this normal map, you can kind of start to see how it was it's working it's almost already starting to look like a foil, uh, an extremely bright foil, that is. Now, it's almost too bright for us. So in order for us to make this work with that cat texture, all we really got to do is add it together. So the color, um, as right now is using new UV, it should go back to I, uh, sorry, I UV, yes. And what we're going to do is we're going to simply add it on top of each other. Color.RGB plus the plasma. Now, one thing to note, this uh, cat is a black background. So what we can do is actually multiply it and then add it on afterwards. So now we're starting to see this plasma effect work on the cat. So in order for this to be more, let's say, punchy, what we can do is take the cat color, which is color.rgb, plus color.rgb times plasma. And then that will really punch it out. And then what we want to do is pull back the plasma color effect. So in order to pull that one back, what we can do is we can do an intensity city plasma. Mm, Foil intensity, we'll call it. We'll put it here beside scale. What we're going to do is multiply it against our color. Yeah, that should be right. That's, nope, sorry, not here. Multiply it against our plasma. Yeah, there we go. 
So if we have a foil intensity of, say, half, now we can start to see this effect. It's almost as if there's a foil on top of our cat, right? Uh, change this back to our flakes, and that will kind of create the, the hollow foil effect we might be looking for. The intensity is a bit, in, a bit high. Now, one thing to note that this plasma right now is using uh, each of these colors. The colors are just red, green, blue. Uh, in a previous, uh, previous video, I had showed you how to change these into specific colors. We're gonna quickly go ahead and do that right now. I'm not gonna go into the details of how I did it because uh, you can check that video out. So we're just gonna do, I'm just gonna type it out right now. Okay, that should have been it. That helps quite a bit. So now with white, uh, the plasma effect now kind of looks dark. This Imagine this as flakes on, on the cat without any sort of, um, without any sort of color. So sometimes these uh, foil effects kind of punch to a certain color. Typically it has red and a little bit of green, right? So these, these are the type of colors it usually punches to. Uh, pushes towards right so let's can also kind of create this uh, and then we can also leave it as white and I think that kind of looks pretty decent yeah so that is actually my take on how to create a, a very simple hollow foil effect of course we can improve this we can add masks we can do things that um, you know punch it out even further maybe even change the way it's being sampled to try to you know, offset the plasma based on maybe a view direction instead of just, um, for example, I don't know if this will look good or not. Maybe use the Z because that's kind of like the normal popping back. No, uh, and then we'll use that as an offset here for the time. And increasing this intensity to try to get more of that color out will really start to uh, give it that high contrast, right? So now it kind of comes down to the tuning and how you guys will really want to make it look uh, look good. But yeah, this is my take on a hollow foil effect, a very simple one. Uh, I think I'll probably do a 2.0 version to you know upgrade this effect uh, to give it a little bit more life. But uh, yeah, let me get let me know what you guys think and. Uh, if you enjoy this video, please like, subscribe, and support my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.